July 6th, Jesus loves you. A catchphrase, part two. Arise, my love, my beautiful one, and come away. Song of Solomon 2. Do you love Jesus? That is a legitimate question which Jesus asked of Peter. Today, let us reverse the question. Are you loved by Jesus? Do you have a Bible handy? Please turn again to Song of Songs or Song of Solomon 2, 10 through 14. Meditate on his lyrical love for you and for a disfigured leper. His taste. He savors the taste of the spirit's fruitage like ripe figs as he lives his life through you. He has a taste for you like his finest expensive wine. His olfaction. You are wearing his signature fragrance. He through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. The alabaster jar of self is broken to release Christ's fragrance. His touch. Twice he calls you away to himself. Do you have a picture of you and him walking hand in hand like lovers as he introduces you into the presence of the Father? The Lord cannot stand the thought of being parted from you. Jesus loves you with his whole soul, mind, heart, and strength. He reassures you that the wintry rainstorms of guilt and shame are over because in his death, he absorbed them and wiped them out. A new spring day has dawned for you with your resurrected lover by your side. He desires you as his bride to be alongside him eternally. John 17 verse 24. Like the apostle John, know that you are a disciple Jesus loves. Amen to that last devotional. I just want to share something personal real quick, just reading these last two days, July 5th and July 6th. I'm just reminded that um, the last two months, it would have really been difficult for those words to land, but I wasn't even reading this devotional space by grace by our dear brother Jim Fielder because I was in a space of shame and guilt and self-loathing and self-absorption of of negativity um I was reminded today I attended one of my sober meetings and they were talking about how you don't have to be sober in order to like qualify for attending the meeting but just to have the desire and that we're all we all as in people like me who are who want to uh, live a sober lifestyle on a path, but that doesn't mean sometimes we don't step off that path, whether consciously or accidentally. But the point is like the path is always there and we, I can always choose to get up and get back on the path. And so I just want to personally thank dear brother Jim for uh, sharing your gift with the world, with me, and I'm able to share it in my own little way on this channel with whoever's listening today. Just know, like really, really know Jesus does love you. It's not just a catchphrase and really meditating on all five of the senses, how he loves us. He sees us. He hears us. He touches us. He even smells us. I was like, oh, that's a... <laughs> I wear a, a scent. Um, I'm not going to tell you where to get it because the price has doubled since I've been telling everybody it's on Amazon. It's called Amber by Nemat. But anyway, like I work at this restaurant and people are like, ooh, what's that smell? And like, I don't know. It's just, I like, I like all of this poetry and thinking about God loves us completely. And so if you've fallen back into a trauma response uh, an unhealthy way that you have been trying to re, re regulate your neurology because of trauma, uh, religious abuse, growing up in a cult like I did, a dysfunctional family, what have you. Um, just know that, yeah, we're all sinners. I'm a sinner, but God, God does love me and he loves you too. And there's nothing that scripture in Romans, there's nothing that can separate us from his love once we accept what was done for us on the cross. So that was my little 
greeting to you personally after reading this devotional. I hope you have a beautiful day. Be well.